Hey, Aaron, it seemed uh, that you made a gesture on your jersey as you were rounding third base um, as you hit that home run. Was there a little message uh, to the opposing dugout? Oh, no, it's, it's whenever they keep the roof close here, it's pretty chilly. So it's just, you know, let my team know to button up a little bit. So then when people uh, go on social media and say everything that you were trolling Jose Altuve for the don't rip my jersey off, they, they would be incorrect to assume that. Everyone's welcome to their own opinion. <laughs> and Aaron, what did you think of uh, Garrett Cole's performance tonight? I can't say enough about that. Um, that took guts. That took heart. Um, that's why he's our ace. You know, people can can say what they want about different things going on, or he's not the same, but he's he is the same. And that guy is. He brought the intensity tonight. We fed off him all all night, and to keep a team like the Astros. You know, shut them out for all nine is, is pretty impressive. And I know they're missing a couple of their big bats, you know, Bregman and Correa especially. Um, but that was just an impressive performance all night. And even in the ninth inning trying to get fooled, he said, no, nah, this is this is my game. You know, you love to see that out of your out of your ace. We go next to Christian. Hey, Aaron, uh, you saw a couple of change-ups in your first at-bat with Granky. Did that help you with that change when you hit the home run? Big time. Um, that's something that he does to me a lot. You know, he's got a really good change-up. You know, he messes with the delivery a little bit. Fastball's pretty sneaky. He can throw any pitch at any time. Um, you know, a big thing with him is just trying to get the mistakes, you know, which he doesn't do often. And, you know, I was able to get a mistake there and, you know, put a good swing on it. You know, usually he's living pretty, pretty down the zone, low and away, down and in. Um, but like you said, you know, to see a couple of my first at bat and then seeing one, you know, up in the zone, um, helped out big time. And I was able to put a good swing on it. Dusty Baker just said the way Cole reached back at the end was similar to Tom Seaver in the late innings. He would kind of ditch the rest of his pitches and rely on his fastball, especially the high fastball. I just want to know what it was like in that ninth inning playoff feel out there in right field, watching him do what he did. Yeah, that was a playoff atmosphere from the very, you know, from his warm-up pitches in the night, the crowd's on their feet. They're screaming and yelling. It reminded me, you know, you know, playing there in the playoffs. You know, that, they got a great crowd that shows up every single night. And um, they were screaming. They were yelling. And that, that's what you you want to be in those spots. You want to be in those situations. And, you know, a guy like GC, he lives for those. He lives for those moments. And uh, he showed up tonight for us. That was huge. Thanks, Aaron. You can go next to Christy Eckert. Hey, Aaron, considering um, the history that you've had here, how special is it to take this series from them, you know, in Minute Maid Park? Oh, it, it's big time. You know, it's something we wanted to do. Um, you know, it's, they're one of the best teams in the American League right now. And, um, you know, it's, you want to play against the best. You want to prove that you're, you know, one of the better teams in the AL as well. And so taking two games out of three so far and winning the series so far is, is big time for us. You know, now we got a more important game, you know, coming up tomorrow, you know, where we can take a sweep. 